All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem 200 squared minus 199 squared. And to solve this problem, I actually have three different methods. So make sure to stick for all three of the methods to find out which one is the best one for you. So for method number one, what I'm going to do is rewrite 200 squared as 199 plus 1 squared. So now I have 199 plus 1 squared minus 199 squared. And if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now this means that 199 plus 1 squared, this should equal 199 squared plus 2 times 199 times 1 plus 1 squared. And this is equal to 199 squared plus 398 plus 1, which is equal to 199 squared plus 399. So, this means that 200 squared minus 199 squared is equal to, well, this right here is 200 squared. So 199 squared plus 139, and now I have this minus 199 squared. So 199 squared and negative 199 squared, these two cancel out, and all I'm left with is 139. Or sorry, this is actually 399. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with 399. So this is my answer. Now for method number two, my problem was 200 squared minus 199 squared. And now for this method, what I'm going to do is rewrite 199 squared as 200 minus 1 squared. So in our first method, we wrote, we wrote 200 squared as 199 plus 1 squared. This time we're going to rewrite 199 squared as 200 minus 1 squared. So now, if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So 200 minus 1 squared is equal to 200 squared minus 2 times 200 times 1 plus 1 squared. And now this is equal to 200 squared minus 400 plus 1, which is equal to 200 squared minus 399. So this is the value of 199 squared. So 200 squared minus 199 squared is going to equal 200 squared minus 200 squared minus 399, which is equal to 200 squared minus 200 squared plus 399. So then these two cancel out, and then this is equal to 399. So that is my second method. And now finally for method number three, I have 200 squared minus 199 squared. 
And I know from methods one and two, what I did was I rewrote either one of these, but now I'm simply gonna just use a property that says a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And I'm gonna use this property on here. So this means that I get 200 plus 199 times 200 minus 199. 200 plus 199 is 399, and 200 minus 199 is simply one. So I get 399 times one, which is just 399. And as you can see, this is properly is probably the most efficient out of the three methods because I've solved it the fastest. So whenever you see something in the form a number squared minus another number squared, always use this property because it's really helpful to solving your problem fast.